How long should sex last? It's a question that has crossed many people's minds. Some people worry if it's long enough, while others worry if it's too long. The truth is, there's no magic number. Let's explore the science behind sexual duration. We'll look at factors that influence how long sex lasts. We'll also discuss how to have a more satisfying sexual experience. It's important to remember that everyone is different. What feels good for one person might not feel good for another. Open communication with your partner is crucial. Talk about your needs and desires. This will help you both feel more satisfied. This essay will provide information based on scientific research. This information will help you understand sexual duration better. Remember, the most important thing is to have enjoyable and fulfilling sex. Many people wonder about the average duration of sexual intercourse. Researchers have studied this topic. They have found that the average time couples spend having intercourse varies. One study found that the average duration is around 5.4 minutes. This includes foreplay and the time from penetration to ejaculation. It's important to note that this is just an average. Some couples may have sex for a shorter time, while others may have sex for much longer. There is no right amount of time. What matters most is that both partners feel satisfied. Several factors can influence the duration of sex. These factors include age, stress levels, and overall health. We'll delve into these factors in more detail later. For now, just remember that there is a wide range of what is considered normal. When it comes to sex, normal is a subjective term. What's considered normal for one couple may be different for another. It's more helpful to think about what's satisfying for you and your partner. Don't get caught up in comparing yourself to others. It's also important to remember that sexual experiences can vary from one time to the next. You might have sex for a longer time on some occasions. Other times, you might have sex for a shorter time. This is perfectly normal. Many factors can influence how long sex lasts. Your mood, energy levels, and even the environment can play a role. Instead of focusing on the clock, pay attention to how you and your partner are feeling. There's a common belief that men want to have sex for longer than women. However, research suggests that this might not be entirely true while men tend to ejaculate sooner than women. This doesn't necessarily mean they want sex to end sooner. Both men and women enjoy the physical and emotional intimacy of sex. The duration of intercourse doesn't always reflect the level of satisfaction for either partner. It's more about the quality of the experience than the quantity of time. It's important for couples to communicate their needs and desires to each other. This includes talking about how long they want sex to last. By being open and honest with each other, couples can ensure that both partners feel satisfied. Section 5. The Mind-Body Connection. How stress affects your sex life. Stress can have a significant impact on your sex life. When you're stressed, your body produces hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones can interfere with sexual arousal and function. For men, stress can lead to erectile dysfunction. For women, stress can make it difficult to become aroused or have an orgasm. If you're feeling stressed, it's essential to find healthy ways to manage your stress levels. Exercise, relaxation techniques, and spending time in nature can all help to reduce stress. It's also important to make time for intimacy with your partner, even when you're feeling stressed. Physical touch and affection can help to release endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects. Section 6. 
Communication is key, talking about your needs and desires. Open and honest communication is crucial for a healthy and satisfying sex life. Talk to your partner about your needs and desires. Let them know what you enjoy and what you don't. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. It can be helpful to start these conversations outside of the bedroom. Choose a time when you're both relaxed and can focus on each other. Listen to your partner without judgment and try to understand their perspective. Remember that communication is a two-way street. Be open to hearing your partner's needs and desires as well. By communicating effectively, you can create a more fulfilling and intimate sexual relationship. Section seven, the power of touch. Foreplay, techniques for enhanced pleasure. Foreplay is an essential part of sexual intimacy. It helps to build anticipation and arousal, making sex more enjoyable for both partners. There are many different foreplay techniques that you can explore with your partner. Kissing, touching, and massaging are all great ways to get in the mood. Experiment with different touches and find what feels good for both of you. Don't be afraid to be playful and adventurous. Remember that foreplay doesn't have to be rushed. Take your time and enjoy the sensations. The longer you engage in foreplay, the more intense the sexual experience is likely to be. Section 8. Beyond Missionary. Exploring different positions. Trying different sexual positions can add excitement and variety to your sex life. It can also help you to find positions that are more comfortable and enjoyable for both of you. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. There are many resources available online and in books that can provide inspiration. You can also talk to your partner about what positions they're curious about trying. Remember that communication is key when trying new positions. Let your partner know what feels good and what doesn't. Be patient and supportive, and don't be afraid to laugh if things get a little awkward. Section 9. Emotional Intimacy The secret ingredient to great sex. Emotional intimacy is just as important as physical intimacy when it comes to having great sex. When you feel emotionally connected to your partner, sex becomes more than just a physical act. It becomes a way to express love, affection and desire. Make an effort to connect with your partner on an emotional level outside of the bedroom. Spend quality time together. Share your thoughts and feelings and support each other's goals and dreams. When you feel emotionally close to your partner, it will show in your physical intimacy. Sex will feel more passionate, connected and fulfilling. Section 10. Seeking help. When to consult a healthcare professional. If you're experiencing problems with sexual function or satisfaction, don't hesitate to seek professional help. There are many healthcare professionals who specialize in sexual health. They can provide guidance, support and treatment options. Some common sexual problems that people seek help for include erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation and low libido. These problems can often be effectively treated with therapy, medication or a combination of both. Remember that there's no shame in seeking help for sexual problems. It's a sign that you're taking care of your health and well-being. Section 11. The bottom line. Quality over quantity. When it comes to sex, duration is just one small piece of the puzzle. What matters most is that you and your partner are enjoying yourselves and feeling satisfied. Focus on quality over quantity 
and don't get too caught up in how long sex should last. Remember that communication, intimacy and pleasure are all essential ingredients for a healthy and fulfilling sex life. By prioritizing these things, you can create a sexual relationship that is both enjoyable and meaningful.